Hi! Thank you very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my houseplants and my Hoyas. In today's video, it is a video that some of you may be interested. I create this video because a number of you has been asking me about different lechuza planters that I have. And also many of you want to know more about the hanging planters that I have next to my south facing window. So in this video, I will show you all of the lechuza planters that I have and also show you in detail how I decorate my hanging planter and where I get from them. In order to have a better overview of each lechuza product that I am using, um, each of the lechuza planter that I show you, I will show you the model, the plant that I suggest or in my experience um, are good in those planters and what are the pros and cons for different planters. Um, just a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I bought all of the to choose a planter by myself. I hope that uh, if someone realized this is a good video, um, they could sponsor me and I can have more videos related to the chooser product. But um, as I said, this one is not a sponsored video. So all of the information I'm sharing with you are 100% in my opinion and also what I felt about them after almost a year using them. So if you are interested in this type of content and you don't want to miss out next time when I posted similar content and you want to ask me questions related to a product, a plant or anything, then I potentially will make a video related to that. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel before continuing this video. Hopefully you have clicked that button. Now we can take a look at all of the planters that I have. Let's start from the smallest one. This one here is the model Deltini. So you can see this one to the right. This is the smallest one. It is called Deltini Mini. This one here is called Deltini Maxi. Um, so because this one is the smallest size, um, I can show you how it looks like. So let me try to gonna pull it up okay so this one you can see there is a planter uh, built inside the um, cover pot so you see that there's a lot of um, water roots already grown into the planter this one is relatively small as I said it is the smaller size of all of the Lechuza self-watering planter I have but it also have the uh, measurement um, level uh, over here and for my in my opinion I think this one is really good for plants that is around maybe nine to ten centimeters um, large uh, on the uh, nursery pot and then this one comes together with um, just enough lechuza pond uh, in that package uh, but I think you need uh, slightly more, uh, which means that the amount of lechuza pond that is provided uh, originally in this pack is slightly not enough, in my opinion. But um, this one is very similar to the uh, cubic um, model, uh, but there is a difference. I'm going to show you because here you see that um, it is not a transparent uh, inner pot. And Next to it, this is a larger model. This one is uh, Deltini Maxi, I believe. And here you see that it is much larger. <laughs> I can't really hold it up uh, in a single handed, but it is very similar to the smaller one over here. The structure is basically the same. What I placed the plant here is a um, fern, uh, a tree fern. I really like this one uh, because it is not so small as the smaller one. It is big enough um, to have a much larger plant. I would say plant that has around maybe 12 to 13 uh, diameter on the nursery pot, it will fit it very well. Uh, it also has the measurement over there, if you can see just right there. In my opinion, the pros for Deltini 
is the shape itself is very aesthetically pleasing. Um, here is a side by side comparison between two different sides you can buy. Um, it is really nice because it's like a rounded corner. So then it just blends in your furniture very, very well. So that's the biggest pro. I would say. However, for the con is that the inner pot is not transparent, uh, where, which means that it's kind of difficult for you to see how the roots are growing, are the roots rotten, or is there anything you can fix earlier on, if it's anything related to the roots. So the only con that I can think of is it doesn't have a transparent pot, which is the same for most um, of the Lechuza planter. So, for me saying that, I'm going to show you this one over here, which is another type, as you can see over here. This one is the very similar model. Um, this one is called Cubic. This one here is Cubic Maxi. This one here is Cubic Mini. And the reason why I say it is really good um, compared to the other one is because it has a transparent inner pot, which means that you can see how the root has been growing. And if there's any root rot or anything happen in the transition, you can see it immediately. Um, so uh, for this one, the plant that I placed in, I would say it's very similar to what I explain about uh, Deltini. Um, this is slightly bigger. So I would say plant having a nursery pot between 12 to 13, uh, you can place it here. This one, it looks quite um, similar in the size maybe, or hopefully you can tell um, the difference when I show it side by side like this. But I would say the one on this side is much larger. It's much larger than you uh, anticipate um, how much um, plant or how large of a plant could be placed because this one I think it's around 15 to 17 centimeter um, on the side uh, each of the side so it is a very uh, good size if you have a, a plant which has between say 15 to 17 uh, centimeters uh, on the diameter in the original pot um, and also this one here has a very um, deep uh, reservoir um, that is the difference between the deltini as well move on to the pros of the cubic compared to deltini is that it has a transparent inner pot and also the reservoir is uh, significantly more compared to Deltini. Um, you can see that this one is around this much is the reservoir. This one is around this much as the reservoir. So yeah, that's uh, hopefully something you will find it helpful. At least that's the information that I wanted to know when I was deciding between Deltini and Cubic. Then we move on to these ones over here. These ones are called Classio. Um, Classio has different um, sizes. Uh, this one here is the smallest. It is LS21, which means the diameter is 21 centimeter. This one over here is LS28. That means the diameter is 28 centimeter. I also have another one over here that I won't be able to move. If you see over here, this one, um, my huge Monstera is using um, Classico uh, LS35. And I would say LS35 is huge. Um, if you can imagine this tree basically um, is, in, is potted in the size of LS35. Um, just to have an idea, that's how it looks like. Uh, this is the only um, darker color of the planter that I have because most of them I have it in white. Um, so let me just focus on the kind of um, pros um, for this one over here. Um, let me just pop you down over here so then I can show you how that looks like. If you take a look at this one, it is um, 
cover pot, but also it has an inner pot. If I can try to lift this up. So you can see that there is an inner pot inside, um, which means that you can always um, remove the excessive water inside the pot. There is another model that I know that also looks very similar. However, it does not have an inner pot, which is a very big problem in my opinion, because when you can't really lift up the inner pot, um, it is extremely difficult for you to remove the excessive water that you have accidentally put in. So having um, kind of uh, inner pot is very, very big of uh, advantage, um, in my opinion. I can't really think of a con, to be honest. I think this is only good. The only con for all of the Lechuza planter that I will show you today is only the QB model has transparent pots. Everything else is uh, in a black or white pot. So that's the only uh, con uh, I can think about. Then let's move on to this one over here. This one is another model that is called uh, Lechuza Delta. So Lechuza Delta has two sides. I believe this one should be... I need to check the size name, but there's only two size. This is the smaller one, and that is the larger one. This one is good for plants that is a uh, crawler, uh, because this is, as you can see here, uh, basically the pot itself is very narrow, which makes it very aesthetically pleasing because of the round corner. And this one here, you are not wasting a lot of space on the width, um, but you have a very long um, planter over here. So it gives you a lot of node uh, for it to grow. Um, so yeah, I, I really recommend this one if you have any uh, crawler type of plants. And this one is just a larger version. Um, this one here also have the same structure. So let me try to show you this one. Um, I'm not going to lift up the larger one because it's basically the same. So it also have an inner pot, if you see this here. So the inner pot um, is very nicely um, hidden and kind of built in very nice. You can see that the lining here just looks perfect. Uh, yeah, so again, you have the meter over here. Um, and if you ever dump too much water in you can always remove the water from just lifting up the pot so it is a perfect choice um, for crawling plant and let me show you another one this is another huge um crawler pot over here it is very similar to the one that I showed you over the on the top there, but this one is the largest model that I can find um, on Lechuza Pond Planter. Uh, this one is called Belconera uh, type. Uh, the Belconera type here, I believe it's Belconera 50, which means that the length is 50. This one is supposed to be put in the balcony, as you can um, guess from the name itself, but I think it works perfectly for a large uh, crawler plant. It is because it has a uh, much wider uh, of a planter. It also have an inner pot, which means that um, it is exactly the same as the Delta, just that this one is much larger. If I remember correctly, this one is 40 centimeter long. That one is 20 centimeter long. Um, this one is 50. So it's like each one has a size up. Then we're going to go through this one over here. This one is the largest Lechuza planter I have. You can see it is really, really tall. Try to focus. Why? This. This one here is called 
Lechuza Rondo. Um, I believe this one is 40. Uh, 40 means the diameter is 40. So this one is perfect if you want to kind of lift up your plant uh, because this one from the bottom all the way to around here, it is uh, not reservoir. This is just basically lift up the entire plant and which gives you a taller plant. Uh, I would say that's probably 20 centimeters at least. And it's really nice if you have a very narrow space and you want to kind of lift up and have a very nice coloring. Um, well, I think white is the best if you have light furniture because in the end, it only makes it blends into your environment much better. The calm, I would say for this one is, it doesn't have a uh, inner, planter um well obviously you can lift up this this is a lift up lift up table <laughs> this here is removable so you can actually lift this thing up but the thing is the inside is just a bucket which means that it you can't really uh separate the reservoir with the um pot itself which means that if you accidentally um pop in too much water and then this goes all the way up here you you can only pump up uh the water from inside so then you can't really kind of separate the um reservoir with the pot itself uh that's the only uh disadvantage um i can think about this planter over here now we're gonna walk over here to show you the close-up of the hanging planter that a lot of you has been asking me about so this is the close-up of the hanging planter i will put the link of where i got it from um, in the comment box below and i'll also show you um, on this video here um, how it looks like uh, when i bought it so you see this for this planter it is a plate and it has, um, I think it's 30 uh, centimeters diameter. And originally, it only comes in this pack, uh, which means it has a frame here. And then it also have a hook, but it's not this one. It is a hook like up there. And if you see this hook here, I actually install it by myself. I drilled a hole through the metal and then I bought this hook, um, which normally you can get it in any kind of hardware store. It's a hook that is flat um, on the end and then I have attached two pieces together. And here you see that the original doesn't have any attachment over here. So there's no holes, no nothing. Um, yeah, so this one is something that I kind of um, make it by myself. So then I can achieve the maximization of the space. If you see this here, um, the maximum amount of plant that I can put, I think it really depends on how large um, the pots are. But for example, um, this pot is... Um, Remember, it's a eight. It's a nine centimeter pot, and this one is a ten centimeter pot. And then I also have the uh, cup as a water reservoir. So in that perspective, um, if we're talking about eight to nine to ten centimeters, I actually have quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I managed to put seven plants on only one single plate and you can see on the top here I have three. The only reason why I only have three is because it is relatively high up there and I don't want to have too much that I don't uh, that I wasn't able to balance and then end up falling. That happened. Um, that is one of the disadvantage um, I can share with you. Um, I just didn't 
uh, hold it carefully and then because this is a plate that is just literally if I show you on the back um, like over here it is just a plate that hangs up with this point so it is really important for you to install it uh, in a balanced way so then these two will look parallel together if you end up um, adopting what I tried to do uh, that I improvised it is to install um, an additional hook so then two plates can attach together like this but um, one suggestion as I said for those that is higher up that you can't really reach out easily I suggest to either do what I have done here I actually added um, a vibe um, Velcro uh, tape um, just to make sure that the pot is attached um, and it won't just randomly fall down. Uh, for these ones I used the leaves kind of to attach with the kind of support over here so then it won't fall easily. Same to this one using a bunch of leaves kind of like to attach to the uh, plate itself. However for this one you can see that it is relatively smaller in the size, um, which means that it doesn't have a lot of leaves um, coming out from the pot. So what I did here is I, I did nothing, basically. I didn't really attach anything or stick the pots to it. I just basically put it on top of it. And so far, none of them has fallen um, in my experience. So yeah, those ones are the close-up of the plates, how I actually applied them. Then I can show you over here, which I have the same methodology, um, attaching two plates together like this. Um, and this one, I can show you how many it carries. These ones are all 10 centimeters large pot. And in particular, when I added the um, reservoir, I think you can t say 10 and a half centimeters large for the diameter. And I have six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it actually could carry uh, quite a lot. And for this one, I even have some space left in between. So you can see that there are gaps in between and this one also have um, I think this one on top I have one, two, three, four, five. So this one I have five. So then you can see there are even gaps in between. But if it's like six, it is pretty closely packed. But I wouldn't think it's an issue um, because as long as it is kind of very uh, closely attached with each other, it kind of push each other into the tray itself so you can see that this is how it looks like from far on the aesthetic perspective it i really like the design i think um the time when i saw the tray i know that it's not meant to be sold in this way or used in this way, like attaching two plates together. But I'm just uh, quite greedy. I just want to make sure that I can pack in as many as possible uh, plant to have the sunlight. And yeah, I think so far is pretty good. Then we move back to this side to show you another type of hanging basket, which is also white. Okay, this one here. This I got it uh, from IKEA. I think they have black as well at the moment. I will attach the link below just so you can see um, where I get it and how much it cost. But here you can see how it looks like um, in the application. Uh, this one I have done no improvise. Uh, in the pot which means that i didn't drill a hole i just basically use it as it is 
I attached it with the hook that comes with it. So this is what comes with it. This one is not. And I have, I think for the uh, diameter of the pot, I think it is 13. Uh, or 15 you can check the detail but the pot that i have inside those ones are 12 centimeters um, wide diameter pot and i still have a lot of space in between if i show you like that maybe this one is easier yeah you see that there's a lot of space in the gap um one thing that i did here is either i use um kind of like plastic to kind of hold it up because it is quite deep if you see this pot is quite deep so what I did is I have a plastic cup uh, underneath so then I can lift up the uh, pot it won't touch the bottom and I can also treat this one as a reservoir <laughs> you can see the lines of stain that's why I got the water until so it just worked out really really well and I also put it as a humidifier holder and I think this is my favorite uh, kind of way of using these ones because it looks so good together it just looks like it's made to look like this because the humidifier I bought a white one as well and for other hanging baskets or hanging planter you can see that um, this is a frame and also this is a separate pot it's different from this one because this one two things comes into one um, so you don't really have to buy something in addition all you need to do is just put your plant in here but for these planters it's different these planters I first bought the frame and then I bought the pot inside for the frame, I bought it in Plantation. Um, it is the same one that is this provider. Um, so this one here is one product and then this one inside. I try to find a matching gold color so then it looks like it's uh, it comes together. It looks like a one piece. Um, this one I bought it from IKEA. Um, it's, I think it's really, really common. Um, pot that you can easily find in IKEA. So for this one, I did not improvise it by adding anything. All I did is just put this pot onto this one. Um, this one, I think it is a 12 centimeter pot. Um, and then for the frame, it is just, it just comes in one size. So uh, I can put the detail below how big these pots are. And then here it has a hook, so basically you can attach as many planter as you want. And then I did the same over here. You can see this one is one set of planter. There is one set of planter for my other plants. And so far it is doing really well. Uh, Rebecca, sorry, I always show Rebecca because it has really, really beautiful look pink flowers and then you see this one's white why because this one is not rebecca this one is from the all the way top that's the croniana you see over here and then it just hang all the way down and then it has the white flowers and then behind that's rebecca because you can see the leaves it's just like sunrise, but a miniature version. Okay, I can show you a little bit on this angle. So yeah, now you can see this one is another set. So basically I have seven of them uh, for these gold color. So it's really nice um, to combine the gold with white in my opinion. And it could actually also act as a tra uh, trellis um, for this one. If you can see, I actually have trellis all 
some has just got too many uh, beneath but i have trellis some of the stem over the frame so then it looks more full and if you look into the material i did the same i have trellis part of it um to the frame um but to be fair i think the material is just growing super wild it goes all the way up there and and then oh, i'm just oh, i'm trying to find what it is all the way up there and yeah, actually even this one we see. This one is not from the Rosita, but this one is actually from Matilde. You can tell from the flower shape or peduncle shape. Yeah, so that's the full view of the hanging jungle. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for staying until now. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I do recording them. So I hope this video answered most of the question that you have related to different types of planters and how to use them, what kind of um, plants you can plant uh, on different types of planter. Um, so if you are interested in this type of content or you want to support me uh, telling me that um, this is the kind of video that you will be interested please feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video um, so then more people will be able to find this content on the searching field. And if you have any questions related to any of the products that I have showed you here, um, please feel free to uh, drop your comment down below so then we can discuss further. Until next time, I wish everyone is having a great day and I'll see you in the next one.